Hey everyone, welcome to ABCs of Essential Oils. It's good to have you back. Today we will be talking about oils N through, let's see, N through P. And those um, are neroli, oregano, on guard, passion, peace, patchouli, peppermint, and pedigree. So those are the oils that we're going to be talking about today. And um, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., I am boarding Hawaiian Airlines flight to uh, Kauai to spend some time with a friend. And then I'm going to be going to Maui to spend time with family. So I'm going to be gone for a few weeks, but I am still going to be doing my weekly um, ABCs of essential oils. And uh, the reason I, I bring up the trip is because for one thing, I'm like super excited and I can't wait to go. I can't believe it's happening. And, um, and it involves travel. So one of the oils that we're going to be talking about today is, oh, wait, yes, On Guard. <laughs> Did I say on guard? L-M-N-O-P. Yes, I did say that. Oh, my goodness. Uh, as you can see, my, my head's a little, um, well, up in the clouds, which is where I'll be tomorrow. So anyway, um, let's get started. My name is Melinda Heyer Getz, and I am a natural wellness educator with Wolf House Natural Living. And I'm so pleased to have you here on the live uh, broadcast of the essential oils um, ongoing tour and um, I'd like you to go ahead at this time and share with your friends um, invite them to join us online and while you're doing that I am going to do that too uh, because I'm here to educate you and empower you to make natural wellness choices for you and your family and you know knowledge is power education is key and um, the more people that have access to this information the better and oh, I just realized that I do not want that to be on there right now so let's take that away whoops um, let's hide that right now there there we go. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I was getting a little bit ahead of myself. Uh, so let me share this. And I also want to remind you to grab your, um, your notebook that you've been using to take down each oil and how to use it and, um, you know, what it's for because you're creating a great resource for yourself um, so that, you know, when a condition or an issue comes up or an emotional issue, because I do talk about the emotional benefits as well, um, you can go to your notebook and find those things. And if you know how to use Google Documents, um, put this all into Google Documents and then you can do keyword searches and it'll find it in the document for you. Um, let's see, I need to share this over here, group, and one more. So I want to make sure that I share it with my groups, my peeps, and, um, and then we'll get started. Okay, so um, use the comment section to ask your questions. And also at any time you can comment um, ABC to let me know that you're interested, you have more questions, and then I'll be able to reach out to you that way. Um, but, you know, write, write in your questions that you have. There are no dumb questions. Um, other people might have the same questions but hesitate to ask. So just go ahead and ask, and I'm happy to answer those questions. All right, so let's get started with neroli. And that is our first 
one. So there's neroli. And you know what, I'm just gonna put me down here so you can see that a little bit better. No, that doesn't look good. All right, um, I'm still figuring this out, figuring out how to do this. So neroli is a really um, beautiful oil and it comes from the orange. And the orange tree gives us three different oils. It gives us neroli, which comes from the flower. It gives us pedigree, which comes from um, the leaves and the stems, and, it, and then it gives us orange oil, which comes from the rind. So um, I'll be talking about neroli and pedigree today, and then later on in the series, we'll talk about wild orange. And each of them, because they come from different parts of the plant, they have different benefits. Um, so this is a sweet, floral, citrusy, and fresh scent. And as you can see from the picture, it comes in a roll-on. It is um, great for promoting a positive mood. It can be used as a personal fragrance. Um, I like to mix neroli and frankincense, and you can do that behind the ears, on, on your pulse points, your, your wrists, inside of your elbow. Um, and it may reduce feelings of anxiousness you can also apply it topically to soothe your skin. And this is one that can be used aromatically and topically, but we don't necessarily use it, um, and we don't use it internally. We just use it aromatically and topically, is what I meant to say, and neat. And um, as I was saying, it, it comes from the bitter orange tree. Combines well with geranium, jasmine, cinnamon, and spikenard, to name a few. And on the emotional side, this is the oil of shared purpose and partnership. So if you're feeling conflicted, restless, impatient, bitter, frustrated, unsympathetic, um, this is a great one to use. And on the positive side, using neroli can help stimulate patience, empathy, kindness, tolerance, fidelity, intimacy, and cooperation and commitment. So really great oil for, um, for the mood and for emotional support. So the next oil I'm going to bring up is oregano. And this is a great oil. Um, I use it a lot, um, whether I'm using it for cooking or I'm using it um, to support my immune system. It's steam distilled from the oregano leaf and it has a, a sharp green camphoraceous smell. Um, you know oregano if you've cooked with it. And um, I've, this is one of the oils that I've actually been using for many, many years when my youngest was uh, little from, from babyhood, really. Um, he had a lot of ear infections. And so I used it to support, um, you know, just dealing with that issue and um, apply it so if you have that issue, you can apply it around the outside of the ear along there. We don't recommend putting it inside the ear. So you can put two to three drops in a veggie cap. Today I brought my veggie caps. So um, if you haven't seen these before or you're not sure what I'm talking about, it's this little empty veggie cap. So if you take supplements, then you recognize it, right? So you just put a couple drops in there and swallow that down with water. It supports a healthy digestion and respiratory function. So kind of a multifaceted oil and also a powerful cleansing and purifying agent. And we do use it aromatically, topically, and internally but definitely you want to dilute this oil. It's considered a hot oil. And another oil that I have put in my eye, I've put it like on my lips accidentally um, because I had it on my finger and didn't make sure that I wiped, washed it off first. So um, if that happens to you, just use some coconut oil or olive oil to wipe that out, you know, wipe it off and it'll help dilute that. and and take away the, the pain from that. Um, on the doTERRA blog, you can find a recipe for marinara sauce. 
and you can add this to your um, to your marinara sauce in lieu of um, the dried oregano. So for a teaspoon of dried oregano, you would use uh, one to two drops of the oil. And uh, this is the oil of not of humility and non-attachment. So if you're overly attached, uh, full of pride, opinionated, negative, or excessively willful or materialistic, um, then diffusing oregano will help to um, combat those issues. Now the next one is On Guard, which I have in my hand here. And this is the one I'm using um, to help support me and get me ready for travel. So I'm going to be on an airplane and um, in a confined space where a lot of people and germs cohabitate. And so um, what I've been doing is taking my, my veggie caps and I put in a, a drop or two of essential oil in there and then I fill it with coconut oil and then I drink that down with water. And I've been doing that um, a couple times a day because I really want to boost my immune system before I get on that airplane because I don't want to get to Hawaii and get sick. Um, on Guard comes in a wide variety of products. Um, we have um, toothpaste, which I absolutely love the toothpaste. We have a hand sanitizing spray, which I have in my purse. Um, and I'll be spraying down my area in my, in the airplane, you know, before, when I sit down, you know, before I touch anything. And, um, we have laundry detergent, we have a cleaner concentrate. So this is a really great oil to, um, fight off or actually support, you know, just healthy living in your home, um, trying to be compliant. So On Guard is a blend of wild orange, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary um, essential oils. And it's warm, spicy, woody, kind of a really nice combination. And um, you can... Um, it provides a, a f an effective alternative to synthetic options for immune support. It supports the body's natural antioxidant defenses. It supports healthy respiratory function, and it also is great for diffusing and cleansing the air. So um, if you've got, you know, family members that have been dealing with, you know, environmental issues and maybe they've been down in, in bed and they're coughing and hacking and um, just generally not feeling well, use doTERRA on guard for in the diffuser. Um, here's my diffuser. So you'd put like maybe three or four drops in there along with, you know, whatever oils you want to use or just the on guard. Diffuse that in the room. Um, give this to them internally. Apply it topically and It'll really help support the immune system and, and fight off those, those uh, what shall we call them? The, the, I want to say boogeyman, but that's not it. I'm, it's not coming to me. <laughs> so anyway, the little bad things that are bothering us. So it can be used aromatically, topically, and internally. And it can be used neat, um, although I do recommend um, diluting it because it, it, it has the cinnamon in it and, um, and the clove. And those can be a little bit hot on the skin. You can, um, just a fun kind of tip to do with food is that you can soak sliced apples in water with a few drops of doTERRA On Guard for a healthy immune boosting snack. And then, of course, this is the oil of protection. So if you're feeling attacked, unprotected, vulnerable, um, if you have a susceptibility to peer pressure, then On Guard is a great one to diffuse and help um, fight off those emotional effects. The next oil we have is our passion inspiring blend and i do have that right here this is passion 
It's part of our um, emotional aromatherapy kit. It's one of the six oils. Ooh, so good. So this has fractionated coconut oil, cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, clove, sandalwood, jasmine, and vanilla bean, and damiana leaf. So it's fresh and spicy and warm. And it's a combination of, as you can see from the, um, the wheel here, it's a combination of um, herbs and grasses and spices. So um, they ignite feelings of excitement, passion, and joy, and it counteracts negative feelings of boredom or disinterest. Um, a couple other um, emotional symptoms that you may have that passion would support are um, anger, bitterness, uh, discontentment, bored, disinterested, or somber. Um, so if you're feeling any of those, then uh, the passion inspiring blend is for you. And then I think this is the next one, if I'm right. Um, oh, and you can use passion um, while you're working to spark creativity, clarity, and wonder. So great one to put in the diffuser. Um, I don't have that in my diffuser today. The one I have in my diffuser today is peace. We could all use a little peace in our lives, couldn't we? Um, I don't know. I mean, I have never heard anyone say that they have too much peace in their lives. So um, peace is the reassuring blend. It's a, um, a blend of vetiver root, mm. lavender, ylang ylang, frankincense, clary sage, marjoram, labdanum leaf, and stock, and spearmint herb. So yeah, it has a sweet, rich, um, minty scent. And um, as soon as you open the bottle and, and breathe it in, you definitely get that sense of peace. Um, I really think, well, all of those oils that it is blended um, give that, but the, the mint um, can be very calming. Of course, the lavender Vetiver is a very calming oil, so um, it's really a beautiful blend of oils. And it promotes feelings of peace, reassurance, and contentment. And it counteracts um, anxious and fearful emotions, hurt, worry, um, insecurity, and apathy. Our oil are the um, emotions that if you're experiencing those, Try diffusing peace. Um, you can also apply it to your your wrists and behind your ears. Of course, you can put it right into the palm of your hand, rub it together, and breathe it in that way. Um, it can be used, of course, aromatically and topically. And um, this is an oil that you can use to calm an upset or restless child. You would apply it to the bottoms of their feet. Um, or dilute it with some oil and maybe give them a, a little massage with that. And that'll really help them. It'd be a nice one to use like if they wake up in the night and they're crying because they had a bad dream or something like that. You can, um, there's a lot of calming oils, but the piece is a nice um, blend of a lot of those great oils, so. Our next oil is patchouli, and this is steam distilled from the leaf. Um, you can see the flower there in the picture. It has a herbaceous and camphoraceous um, scent, so it, it's strong. But um, so if you're if you're from the '60s or '70s, you might remember that patchouli was really popular back then, and um, so it might be, remind you of hippies. Um, the doTERRA patchouli is very um, clear and smooth, I would say. Uh, it doesn't, it's not as um, 
I don't know. I've, I've smelled some patchouli that's like, you know, you smell it on somebody and you're like, oh my gosh, I, I do not want to be near you because it's too strong. Um, and remember, these are pure essential oils. So one drop is all you need and you can dilute that and you can make a, a personal um, deodorant with patchouli. I mean, that's how it was used in some countries um, where it's popular. Um, you can diffuse it to help ground and balance emotions. It promotes a smooth glowing com uh, complexion, so it's really good for your face. Uh, it can be used aromatically, topically, and internally. And this is one that I sometimes use in my diffuser at night, or um, I might, uh, if I'm having some sleep issues or I know that I've had like some caffeine in the afternoon or something, then I'll use my veggie caps and I'll make a little concoction to take. And usually it's like patchouli, clary sage, lavender, um, vetiver, and I'll put those all in the little veggie cap and then I'll take that before I go to bed um, with water. So um, you can smooth out painful tangles with five ingredients and four essential oils, including patchouli. And you'll find that DIY hair detangler on the doTERRA blog. So that's kind of cool, right? And then your hair smells really great. So patchouli is the oil of physicality. If you're experiencing body shame, a disconnection from your body, judgment of your body or um, tension in your body. Uh, patchouli is the one to use. Um, you diffuse that to deal with those emotional issues. And then second to last, peppermint. I so love peppermint. Um, hold on here. I want to hide that comment. There we go. You guys know that you can comment anytime, ABC, to let me know that um, you like the information that you're hearing and that you want to hear more, and I will contact you, definitely. So peppermint is another oil that I have been using for years, and the reason that I personally started using it uh, was for head tension. So I will get to that in just a minute. I want to tell you first that it is steam distilled from the whole plant. It is minty, hot, and herbaceous. And it's uh, sourced right here in the United States. It promotes healthy respiratory function and clear breathing. So great one to put in the diffuser or um, dilute it and rub it on your chest or smell it right out of the bottle or from your hands. Really great for opening up the airways. Helps to reduce bloating, gas, and occasional indigestion. So it's also great for your digestive issues. Um, you can dilute it and rub it on your, um, your abdomen or your esophageal area. You can um, take it, you know, under your tongue or in a capsule to help with the digestive issues. You can apply it topically to real, uh, re relieve feelings of tension. So... Um, after many years of, of abusing over-the-counter um, medications for the head, um, at the behest of my doctor, who, you know, was just doing what he was taught, right? Um, I can no longer take those uh, because I have, it's affected my liver. So um, I use the essential oils to help when I have head tension. And what I do is I take a drop on each finger, and rub it into my temples, and then all along the top of my forehead, and then down here, right along the hairline, right here. And, um, you, know, you know, you can just really rub it in, and it feels so good. And it, it'll start working within seconds, if not minutes, um, or minutes, if not seconds. Anyway, very quickly. And this has been such a lifesaver for me. I just love peppermint. I also love to have it, as I've mentioned before, in my water, um, a drop of peppermint and a drop of lemon in my water, which reminds me, I'm going to take a drink right now. Mmm, it's so yummy. 
I love it. Um, so peppermint is one that you can diffuse when you're feeling fatigued or low on energy. This pairs really well with um, wild orange. So sometimes like first thing in the morning in the diffuser, I'll put wild orange and peppermint because wild orange lifts the mood, right? And um, the peppermint helps wake up, right? So wake up the senses, wake up the brain, you know, uh, lift the mood, get us ready for the day, for homeschooling, things like that. Peppermint can be used aromatically, topically, and internally. Um, it may you may have sensitive skin, so um, you'll want to dilute it. Um, there's a great recipe on the DoTerra blog called Whipped Peppermint Foot Lotion, and it's made with beeswax, cocoa butter, shea butter, virgin coconut oil, fractionated coconut oil, peppermint, and melaleuca. And just rub that on your feet, and oh my gosh, you will! It's wonderful. It, you will feel so pampered and it's kind of fun to make it too. So on the emotional side, peppermint is the oil of the buoyant heart. And if you're um, having unbearable emotional pain, intense depression, heaviness, pessimism, and feeling muddled, peppermint is a great oil to use. Uh, to support you in that. And last but not least, we have Pettigrain. And um, this is one of our newer oils. The primary benefits of Pettigrain, um, which is steam distilled, as I said, from the leaves and twigs of the bitter orange tree. Um, it may help support healthy cardiovascular function provide antioxidant support, healthy immu immune function, and promote a restful sleep. You can diffuse it uh, for calming and relaxing aroma, and it blends well with other citrus oils, cassia, cinnamon, eucalyptus, geranium, lemongrass. You can take it internally to help ease feelings of tension, to help calm the nervous system and promote restful sleep. Uh, before going to bed, you can add a few drops of pedigree along with lavender or bergamot to pillows and bedding for its aromatic benefits and, of course, to your diffuser. And you can add one or two drops to water or juice and drink that to help support the health of the cardiovascular, immune, nervous, and digestive systems. So very well-rounded um, oil. And this is the oil of ancestry. So um, if you're struggling with having feelings of you want to disown your ancestry or you're repeating negative family patterns, you're um, feeling bound, uh, feeling duty bound, uh, loyalty to unhealthy traditions, use pedigree. Um, using pedigree can help cultivate pioneering chain breaking, cultivating healthy traditions, embracing positive family connections. So a lot of great um, positive emotional support there. So that is it for the oils today. We did neroli, oregano, on guard for those of you just joining us, passion, peace, patchouli, peppermint, and pedigree. So um, if you did jump on late, uh, go ahead and watch the replay, make comments, ask questions, make sure you have your pen and paper um, handy to write things down. And um, it's never too late to share this information with your friends. So uh, invite them to, to watch the video and give me some likes and hearts. And then, um, I'll be back next week. So I'm going to P Q. No, we don't have any oils that start with Q. So we'll see what comes up. R's and S's and things like that. And um, let me move that out of the way. And I want to thank you for being here today. Uh, I hope I wasn't talking too fast. I think I'm getting really excited about um, leaving on vacation today. So next week, 
on Wednesday at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, which I believe is 1 o'clock in Hawaii. Um, I'll be joining you from Hawaii, and we'll be talking about some more oils, why we love them, how to use them, and um, yeah, be sure to tell your friends. Uh, a reminder will go out the day before uh, from Be Live that we're going to be having a live broadcast, and you can share that. And then, yeah, I'll see you then. So. Take this information, apply it to your lives, and have a blessed, abundant, and beautiful week.